All right, before we go, Katie, we've been taught from an early age to respect the government's wisdom. Mm. Because many believe they're so much smarter than the rest of us, you know, mouth breathers. <laughs> um, well, I give you this headline as a possible counterpoint. Listen to this. Social Security Administration announces Americans can choose their gender on forms. Yep. This is the world we live in now. According to the agency, the Social Security Administration's Equity Action Plan includes a commitment to decrease administrative burdens and ensure people who identify as gender diverse or transgender have options in the Social Security number card application process. This new policy allows people to self-select their sex in our records without needing to provide documentation of their sex designation. Uh, there's one caveat. At this time, the agency does not have an option to select non-binary, but rest assured it will be added soon. Katie, how can we take our government seriously anymore? It's just one branch after another doing this idiocy. and We cannot. Yeah, we cannot. Simple. Speaking of <laughs> crap policy and the brilliance that is government, San Francisco nearly spent $1.7 million on one public restroom. That's right. The single toilet was to be built in a 150-foot space in the No Valley Town Square and completed in three years. That is, until word got out as to how much money the bid came in at. In comparison, Los Angeles spent roughly the same amount of money to build seven modular bathrooms around the city. So, Katie, did you know the average cost of a home right now in San Francisco, $1.4 million, and they want to spend $1.7 million on a single public toilet? Mm, yes. Something about this and the story being in San Francisco, it kind of all makes sense. Yeah, I mean... I know this would be a city issue, but also look look who's the wisest. And speaking of government, the level of official you have. Who's their member of Governor the House? Governor Gruesome or Nancy Pelosi? I oh. rest my case. Yeah. Anyway, finally, speaking of spending big money, <laughs> did you know the average family of four could pay roughly $1,100 to spend one day at the so-called happiest place on earth? A new study found Disney is not so family friendly when it comes to entertainment or the pocketbook. A single ticket for anyone above the age of 10 could cost up to $269, depending on the date on which the family visits. Don't forget $30 to park, not to mention food purchases and souvenirs. That could easily add to the total of $1,500 for the day. Over the last year, Disney has tried to make up for the lost revenue during COVID by raising prices 10%. And interestingly enough, Disney has only raised prices at their California theme parks and not in Florida. Hmm, Katie, those rainbow-colored mouse ears are getting mighty expensive these days. Well, you know, if they want to just advertise as being family-friendly, they just better invite the drag queens in and have story hour. That would solve the problems. Well, they're already family-friendly in the new definition of the words family-friendly. That wraps up this segment. More to come next time.